Hey guys, hey y'all, hey, hey, hey. Y'all are excited to see me again today. I know, I'm excited to see me too. Today I'm gonna be doing a comparisons video between Fenty setting powder and concealer versus my Pro Conceal and my Maybelline setting powder. Continue to watch for you guys wanna get my thoughts on these products, which one I like better, yada, 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 which one way better, everything. Continue to watch, continue to watch. Yes, I might as well pull out what you guys been waiting on, huh? Yay! The first thing I got was this Instant Retouch Concealer in the shade 300 because my foundation color is the shade 300. This is what it looks like. It's pretty similar to the foundation bottle. There it is right there. I like that little, um, I like the little brush. And then I got the Fenty Setting Powder in the color Cashew. Whoops. Let's go ahead and open it. I haven't opened any of these products. I'm so excited if I could get this open. Okay, here we go. Here it is. There it is. It's so pretty. I love this mirror on the setting powder. Also in the box comes this little um, this little thing to stop the powder from coming out. And I think it is so important. It can get everywhere. And last, but most certainly not least, I went ahead and got it. Everyone has been using it, talking about it. I haven't got a chance to use it because I didn't want to. I didn't want to pay my money for it. I'm not gonna lie. But I went ahead and did it. I got the first Sally Rose Gold Elixir. Are you guys ready for the rest of this video? I'm so excited. Oh my god. I got it. So I'm gonna do half of my face with the Fit Me that I use all the time, the Born to Glow, and the Pro Conceal that I already have that I use every day. Let's get into it. So first, I'm gonna go ahead and put on my NYX Born to Glow. Next, I'm gonna use the First Alley Beauty Oil and put it on this half of my face. I hate plastic stuff like this on expensive stuff like this. That's off. Now, look at that, it has gold, it has gold infused in the elixir. So I'm gonna just put about mm, one or two drops. Let me start right here. Go ahead and rub that in. Ooh, a little goes a long way. So soft. It smells citrusy. I like the way this feels. I really like the way this feels, actually. This NYX Born to Glow, I can kind of see a white cast. With this, this rose gold elixir, little light oil on my face. I'm gonna go to my trusty dusty Urban Decay All Nighter. This year I did try um, the Fenty Beauty Foundation and I really didn't like it because I like full coverage and that foundation is not full coverage. So, you know, there's nothing much we can do about that. Let's move on to the concealers. This is what I have been waiting for for an extremely long time. Now, let me start off with this Pro Conceal. I, I use this regularly. Let's get that going. Let me just do that real quick. Purchase I'm gonna go ahead and spray on this Morphe uh, setting spray onto this. Now it's time for Miss Fancy. So one little pool goes a long way, obviously. I did all of it. I'm gonna do the same thing that I did to this side, spray this Morphe. I like the way it's moving. I like the way it's moving a lot. So this is the look with the concealer. Oh my God, y'all. I don't know if you guys can see the difference, but I can most definitely see the difference. This side looks amazing. This side is still a little, still a little dark. Maybe I'm just tripping because of the name. Maybe I'm just tripping. But this side is looking great. And I haven't even applied any setting powder. This side is looking a little drug story. It's looking a little drug story. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the stuff that I've already been using. Fit Me Setting Powder. And I really love this setting powder. Purchase but if Rihanna got some, some stuff that's better, we, we gonna see about it. Okay, now it's time for the Fenty Beauty setting powder. And you know what? Let me just, there's a lot of setting powder. This is, this is 0.98 ounces. Fit Me is only 0.7 ounces. You do get more setting powder in this one. Okay. 
It has a slight smell to it that I kind of like. The Fit Me is probably one shade darker. Just from me putting it on, I like the fragrance. It is a little lighter than my Fit Me, and I'm a little concerned about that, but I can see something already, okay? That my Fit Me is creasing right there. And this is not, this is not creasing. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the brown in this and um, just contour the sides of my face, forehead, maybe a little nose, if I like my bell pepper. Definitely under here to take that double chin away. Ready to wipe this setting powder off. A little brush it with my little wiper brush it, cool. I don't know what the hell is going on right here. Maybe it's my eyeshadow, maybe I'm tripping. I don't like the little harsh line it has going on. It didn't happen on this side. So, I don't know, but it's not looking bad. That's what I can say. I feel like maybe I just put too much setting powder on because I was expecting it to have the consistency of Maybelline Fit Me, but it didn't. I don't need that much. Maybelline Fit Me, I'll be dipping, I'll be patting, I'll be dipping, I'll be patting, so whatever. I'm seeing just a little creasing, a little. This one definitely has creases. So in honor of me buying all these Fenty products, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Fenty Kilowatt Foil in the color Sand Castles. Now I know I use this highlight a lot, but I honestly feel like this is one of the best highlights I've came across. So um, I only have a few more highlights, but this Fenty, baby, baby. And I like the, the wet look glossy hd high definition 4k okay now what lipstick am i gonna use today doing something just a little dark today b-i-b-i-c-e now it's time for the morphe setting spray of course Okay, so from everything that I've experienced, putting putting it on, blending it, how it laid down, I am really feeling, I didn't even want to say it. I'm really feeling the luxury side better, the Fenty, Versailles. I'm really feeling this side better because, and let me tell you why, it's not because of the name. It's because I can clearly see that this side is not creasing and this side is. Boom. So thank y'all so much for joining me today for this comparisons video. I hope you guys really like the look and I hope this really helped you guys if you're trying to figure out if you want to buy some luxury concealer and setting powder or you just want to stick to Maybelline and LA Girl. You know, just, just, just so you guys can see the difference. I've really wanted to try this Fenty concealer and setting powder, but I was just like, you know, I don't think it's gonna make a big difference. And honestly, it doesn't really make a big difference. If I didn't tell you, if I told you this whole face was Fenty, you would be like, oh, really? Wow, like that looks great, Fenty. If I told you it was all Maybelline and LA Girl, you would be like, okay, drugstore, okay. Like, that's that. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share. Comment below and tell me what y'all think, because I know y'all are watching and not commenting, but that's okay. Just comment below, tell me what you guys think. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at it's me, Christina G. And yeah, I'll see you guys next Sunday. Bye. Bye, y'all. Bye.